Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day today. It looks like it's going to be pretty and warm outside today. So, y'all should get out and enjoy the warm weather. So, I have a dessert cooking video that I want to get on here and share with y'all. In hopes that you might like it and you might try it for your family. It's really, really good. So, it's called Watergate Salad. And I'm going to show you, this is how I make my Watergate Salad. And everybody has their own way of making it, but this is my way. And I'm going to go ahead and give you the ingredients of what you need. You need one can of pineapple, a 20 ounce can. You need a pack of potassio pudding, instant pudding, a one 16 ounce tub of Cool Whip, one cup of marshmallows, and a half a cup of chopped nuts, and that's optional. So, let's get right into it. Okay, first thing you're going to need is, I'm making a double batch, so I'm going to double up. I have two of these. Instant puddings. And what you do is you just open it up, and you just plop it right into the pan here. So simple and frugal. Kids of all ages will love this dessert. Here's one, and here's two. I'm just going to show with y'all how I make my Watergate salad. I make this at least once a week. I also have some more good dessert videos that I'm going to be making for y'all. And I have some more cooking videos to do. Just don't know when I'm going to get around to doing them all. Alright, then you open up one can of the pineapple. It's 20, it's a 20, yeah, it's a 20 ounce can, and it's the Great Value brand. And you just dump that right in there on top of the pudding. Come on, get out of there. Don't want to waste any of this goodness here. Alrighty. Then, I'm going to mix that up just a minute to see if I'm going to add another can because I don't like a lot of pineapple. Uh, yes, I'm going to need two cans. Okay. Open up the second can of pineapple, y'all. This is yummy, yummy, yummy for you. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Alright. There's that. Remember, I'm doubling up because I'm making a bigger batch. Okay, I'm going to go, since I am making a bigger batch and I'm going to add another can of pudding mix okay and the third box Alright, so that's three boxes of pudding and two cans of pineapple so far. Alrighty. Now, let's mix that up pretty good here. Make sure you mix it up really good. The next thing is, I'm going to do the marshmallow, no, the Cool Whip. We'll do the Cool Whip next. No, actually, we're not. We're going to do one cup of marshmallows and two cups of marshmallows. As soon as I pour into the measuring cup here. 
Woohoo! Okay, two cups of marshmallows. All right, let's fold that in with the mix here. Next thing I'm going to add is some nuts. Now, nuts is optional. You can use any kind of nuts you want. Black walnuts, pecans, whatever, you know, whatever you like, whatever you have on hand now. Okay, let's go get the nuts. Okay, I'm going to use what's left in here. It's pecan chips. And I'm just going to. You can use as less or you can use more. Whatever, however many nuts you want to throw into your recipe. But this is what I'm going to put in mine. Okay. Then we're going to give it a stir here. Then I'm going to fold in the Cool Whip. Now, I don't double the Cool Whip because I don't like the Cool Whip. So, I'm going to use one container of Cool Whip. Alright, that's pretty thick. And I think I want some more marshmallows. There we go. I just eyeball this, basically. I never go by recipes. I always eyeball it, pretty much. So, now, that is done. Now let's fold in the Cool Whip. And I am using Whip Topping, the Great Value brand. And my house is Great Value Everything. Alrighty. Now, I set that out. It's still a little bit cold and a little bit froze, so Let's see if we can get this mixed up. So what's everybody doing today besides YouTubing? Tomorrow they're having some kind of a thing up in Rapid where I live. It's a, a big, I don't know what it's called. My fiance, he wants, he's wanting to go to it, so... I'm probably doing some videos of that tomorrow. I'm not exactly sure what, what kind of thing they're having, but he told me, but I forgot. I'm very forgetful sometimes. Okay. Let's get this all mixed up here. Look at there, guys. Ain't that looking good? It's really good. Y'all need to give it a try if you haven't already, you know, tried it. You need to make yourself some of it. Share it with the family. Share it with your friends. Shoot, share it with your neighbors. Have them to come over with a, get a cup of coffee and have some dessert. Shoot the, shoot the BS, you know? Alright. This is getting pretty thick. So, and I'm going to show you when I get this done. Oh, when you get this made, you're supposed to put it in a container, a sealed container and keep it in the fridge. Let it chill for an hour or two. And then when you serve it, you can also put coconut on top of it. That makes it good also. It's really good. Whatever you, whatever you're liking, you know, you can add whatever you want in here. You can even add coconut in it right now if you wanted to. But I'm not big on coconut, so I put a little bit on top when I serve it. Anyway, folks, this is what it looks like. Very tasty, very yummy, and anybody would like it, I'm sure. So, if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit like, and subscribe to my channel, y'all. 
because I got some really good cooking videos coming up here soon. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Love y'all.